Well, here we are. The moment you've been kind of sort of waiting for, for who knows how long. Uh, I've been working on something for a little bit, and, uh, well, I teased about it on Instagram for a really long time. Not a really long time, but you, you get the idea. It's better to just show you what I've been, you know, trying to show you for a good while. Look at it. <laughs> it's, it's so tiny. Hello, greetings everybody. My name is Mr. Black Bear and welcome to another video about this whole sewing process thing again. So, uh, if you're here just to see what I've been working on, there it is. And there's the door. But if you want to follow along, well, I got news for you. <laughs> That's what's going to happen today. Uh, well, this, this thing, this creature here took me a good while to make, uh, approximately that long nine hours and three minutes just to make this thing now you may be asking yourself why would you do that well I did it for multiple reasons but for the main reason is just to measure how long it would take me to make this how much material I use barely nine hours and three minutes I think I think three minutes nine hours just baseline took me nine hours just to make this and like I said, if you want to follow along, here's what you need. Um, first of all, this whole thing was made out of anti-pill fleece I found at Joanne's. You got four colors here going on. Um, first of all, the main one, the light green you see here, is called an online lime. I don't know what kind of name that is, but it is. Uh, you got DM Red, uh, personally, and I recommend this, uh, I'd use a different shade of red. I'd use a darker red, maybe a bit more pure, a bit more ruby-esque. I like, I like this red, it's just that it was just in my room at the moment. And, uh, <laughs> no nine hours to make this so i didn't want to cut too many corners but at the same time i had to and then we have this dark green i believe it's just called pine needle uh it's it's a dark green you can use any dark green but it has to be darker than the body color green and white as you can see it has teeth Oh, and uh, I mean a few other things. I mean, you might need scissors, uh, some string to match the body. I used this throughout the whole thing. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. And oh, one thing: this th this eighteen inch doll here is being, you know, presented in a flower pot. Now I bought this flower pot over at Joanne's. It was a terracotta orange, but I spray painted it black because my name is Mr. Black Bear and I have everything in my room, at least the furniture, in black. I just love this matted color, but I also wanted the classic terracotta flower pot to put this plant lady in. So, without further ado, let's just get on to it because it's going to be nine hours worth of footage dumbed down to 13. Let's go. So, here I lay out my fabric, roll up my sleeves, and got down to work. I'm cutting out this trim only because I have no use for it. And like I said, the fabric I'm using is called an online lime. I had cut out some patterns uh, on paper beforehand, and here I am using them. Though I don't use them all the way, I usually use the fabric itself as the pattern moving forward, mainly because the fabrics kind of stick together a little better than paper, otherwise I'd have to pin everything down. And you're going to have to have four cut out of the legs just because, you know, two halves make one. Here I'm measuring everything just to keep tally and track of how much I've wasted so far. 
Obviously the number gets way bigger moving forward. Here's the torso. Like I said, everything was done on paper, but moving forward after at least cutting one, I usually use the fabric as the pattern. The only reason why the arms are so thin is because it, they were supposed to be more like vines. They were also supposed to be a little longer and I had a bit of wire that I was going to use instead of just stuffing it normally. Here I am doing the head. I got, I'm cutting out four pieces. Usually to make the full circle it's five, but I have my reasons. So moving on, we have pine needle. Now this is a darker green. Here's a picture of it from the online store of Joann's. Um, this one was mainly used for all the leafy parts of it that weren't just the body. And also the internal mouth of this creature, which I'll show later. But we also need DM red. The red color of all this and... I use, I use this for the fingers, the lips, and the bow tie. So after all the slicing and butchering, you should at least have two arms, a torso, two pairs of legs, a, the head, a little bit of dark green, a little bit of red. You don't need too much of the dark green, nor the red. And after all that, it's time to get the sewing. Today I'll be using spring green. It is the closest thread I have found to the color of the body. I also found this at Joann's in case you were curious. The only problem I had throughout this whole entire uh, session was uh, the torso was a little too hard to get uh, flipped inside out. So what I had to use to get it through the waist was one of these handy dandy cotton stuffing sticks. The kind of sticks you get when uh, you buy a bag of cotton. Speaking of cotton, today I'm just going to stuff the whole thing in some of this silky polyfill rather than just the standard polyfill stuffing stuff. Also, you might realize that there's just a lot of loose threads everywhere. Uh, that is only because I find I'm, I'm trying to do this a little quicker than usual. So I just I'm utilizing multiple needles at a time. So I just pick up from where I ended to sew a piece with another needle that I used previously. Also, yes, I do realize the thighs are like ginormous compared to the body. Do not question me the process. Do not question the process. There is a reason for it. You will see at the very end of the video. Just be patient, watch. Uh, throughout the whole entire process, there has been like clumping of uh, cotton and usually it takes time to iron them out. But I mean, I had to do this really quick because yeah, it took forever. Uh, but, you know, using the stick has its pros, its cons. I usually like the hand stuff, but obviously with these thinner, you know, places to stuff, it's going to be using the stick. So after the body is all done, it's time to start with the head. Then suddenly, tragedy struck because my camera, uh, well, my phone, <laughs> ran out of storage because three hours is too long. This is kind of the timestamp that that happened. So I'm just going to be moving on with a few pictures before going back. This is the head. 
I had to make two versions of this head because uh, the old one was way too small for the body. Uh, the new one is what I'll be moving on with. It is just much better, cleanly done. And well, like I said, it's just a little too small for that. So I had to use this bigger version that I had made. And yes, I know. How did I get these luxurious red lips on this thing? Well, for that, I had to do some uh, uh, on the field research. I, I took the opportunity to find one of these piranha plants and uh, try to figure out how they made theirs. So the lesson of today, my little cubs, is always do your homework first. So what we have here is me trying to fix the original pattern to make the newer version. This is before I made the new head for this abomination. And uh, this is pretty much me just going at it. And uh, yes, the, you are seeing with your own eyes. Yes, I am making a pair for this creature don't don't judge me as you can see here i just kind of lazied my way out of the hands and uh kind of went back to my older pumpkins uh actually and just you know made the fingers out of thin felts so here's me trying to break down the science how to give this creature a, a pair and uh well, it was a little too long in terms of the center point. How I did that was I cut off the excess. So that's what that looks like. And then I just evened it out from the center. And well, I just gotta say, this is the smallest uh, pair of peas I have ever made for vegetation. <clears throat> anyway, uh, moving on. And uh, here's me making the uh, the head before I made the head. But before I attach it to the torso, I want to show you something beforehand. This is the pattern, or at least when I was making it. And before that, I actually made a skeleton wire. And then based off the pattern off of that. The only reason why I'm telling you this is because I, this, I used armature wire. And the only reason why I'm telling you this is because this doll is super top heavy. So what I had to do was take it, one of those wires, bend it in half and give this thing a spine. Also, there's a few things you might need beforehand. Uh, you need at least one tiny little bow and around five leaf like things. These are going to go around the neck. Now, I, I've been here rambling on without a breath inside about how I've been going about making this thing. But let's put a pin on it for a little bit because we are going shopping. So I went down to my local Joann's in search of uh, containers, vases, uh, oh, that one. Yes, for $5.49 and at half off, what a steal. This was also one of the factors for making my wire skeleton. Now, I say Joann's only because that was the first spot I checked, because when I went back to a place like uh, Michael's, they only had... What is that? Is that Santa's corset? Oh, gross. Either way, they didn't have any of those fancy terracotta-looking ones that I really like. So, I guess, you know, maybe not... Wait, what's that? So yeah, not in the floral section like I thought. It has its own spot to itself. Man, could you imagine how big I can make one of those things? Or how little? <clears throat> Never mind, uh, topic for another day. Anyway, uh, so obviously <laughs> to get my fancy black vase, I use some of this. Rust-Oleum. Matte finish. Fancy. Here is what that should look like. I didn't do a great job. There's a little bit of drippiness to it, but it will serve for my purposes. Like I said, the reason why the thighs are so big is so it can kind of get a very stuffed in looking feeling, a bit like an overgrown monster plant. And remember those bow ties and leaves I've been talking about? Well, first going for the bow tie, 
we should already have had the head attached at this point and I'm just gonna stick it in with a needle and sew it on properly. So it should look something like that. As for those leaf thingies, those are gonna go around the neck like I had threatened before. Should look something like this, but with a few cuts here and there, it should look like, uh, I don't know, your common garden weed. Beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> but wait, how did I make the butt? Well, I made something in the shape of a butt and put it on her butt. That's how I made the butt. <sighs> But after all that, after all the sewing, stuffing, cutting, was it really worth nine hours? Well, let me show you. No, it wasn't worth it, but I did learn a lot of things. And there you have it. Now, I hope you made your own and or just wanted to know how I made it. And I thank you for any of those. It took a really long time to make this, so I really do hope you enjoyed. I gotta say, I'm very proud of it. I mean, I know the stress can ooze off of this thing anytime I look at it but it's still fantastic and so you know overall i had a great time doing it i mean i love sewing a little bit more than drawing believe it or not but yeah you know, that's just me either way here we are i made it you probably could make it anyone can make it if they put their mind to it if they even want to make it because, I mean, look at this thing. I can explain this to any, you know, uh, buddy who walks through that door. You don't. That's the fun part. You just leave it up to the imagination. I have... I mean, I have this one here in the corner of my room, 24-7. So, I mean, it really isn't too much different from having this one thing maybe you made in your room so leave it up to me to be the weirdo and make so many of these and uh give you the content you deserve um, and if anything both of these were experimental if anything i mean this one's using a different fabric which is why it kind of doesn't have a neck that works and this one is more intricate even though it's simple kind of reminds me of my old pumpkins i used to do this one's uh, made out of different fabric, and so it's all silky all over. Very soft and silky. <laughs> Make it at your own leisure. I mean, um, like I said, there's no excuse for me. And that's pretty much all I have to say. Hopefully you had a good time. I sure did. I like sewing. And I'll see you all next time. Hopefully not as tired. See ya.